Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting one stroke painting today. Watch this. We're going to outline some leaves. So we're going to go out here and outline and get a nice tip. So we come out here heavier and then we stand up and get teeny. Now some people do this with a pen or a marker, but let me show you what's really nice about this is if you push and then you stand up, it looks like you have skill <laughs> instead of the exact. Lots of people try to make that exactly the same size all the way around. And look how nice that looks. Push and lift. Push and lift. You don't have to do that, but look, I think that adds a lot to it. And I'm going to do the same thing over to here around some of this. And like I said a minute ago, we can, oh, especially these. I'm going to come here. I'm going to make curls. And my little finger's guiding me. So let me show you. We're going to take and we hold it like this. We go up to the first knuckle. We start practicing with our little finger wherever my little finger's going. I start here. I pull away and I have curls. All right, so now what I want to show you, the last thing I have fun with is that we're going to take and push and stand up and push stand up and do some fun scroll work in between and I have a lot of plates that have this look on it so if you just do this as a practice project you're gonna love and I do this a lot of wine glasses for weddings where we're just pushing and, and lifting and so we do a lot of two-tone colors silver and white gold and white and you've got the perfect multi-surface paint, so you can put it on all sorts of surfaces, from the candles to the glass, right? So see how fun that is? And it just adds, adds to your project. All right, I had fun. Hope that you enjoyed this. I'm going to take and sign this. Make sure you sign all your pieces. And you have to practice to get good. And I want you to pressure, release, pressure release. I want you to think about that when you're doing all your strokes because it makes a big difference. You have to have a very good chisel edge. Your tips of your brush, you're going to start on the chisel and end on the chisel.